Hey, 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 welcome back once again, guys. How is it going? One week was a simple vacation for me, guys. I really had to take this week off because I was working my ass off and everything that I'm trying to do in my life regarding my music, regarding my content creation, content delivery, and everything else, guys. I was simply working my ass off day in and day out, so I was like, man i simply got to take some time off otherwise i'll just end up being exhausted and i'll simply wear out myself guys which is why did i do a lot of trading in this week nope i did not but in this video we'll talk about a right here guys and what went wrong in this trade but essentially uh, during this previous week all i was doing i was simply providing my liquidity on various protocols on solana guys like solent right i mean solent is a simple borrowing and lending protocol where, where you can simply lend your usdc or crypto assets as well to simply keep on yielding on your liquidity that you've provided right so this is what i was doing for one whole week not really participating a lot in the markets altogether but in this video we'll talk about ape we'll talk about bitcoin from multiple angles guys and we'll jump into ethereum if i remember right so without any further ado let's talk about this fact right here guys so what went wrong in this trade now essentially i'll talk about my mindset when i was simply jumping into a short position guys the price action was literally at 11.9 dollars and i had seen a clear rejection coming from these levels because you can see right here guys the size of this candle right here was a massive one it was a big fuck off rejection candle coming from this grind breaking down to the downside which is why guys most of my risk management on this trade was right here above 12.15 dollar regions altogether and essentially guys i did post this um, entire setup on twitter as well so if you've not followed crypto educator on twitter links will be down below you should be following my account i do a lot of shit posting guys i really <laughs> i've been shit posting a lot and essentially i shit post when i don't trade in the markets that much essentially back back to the fact right here this was a clear cut risk management for me if i were jumping into a short position the price action was simply trending below the 21 exponential and the 200 simple moving average in the four hour time frame was also not that bullish in the market guys so this gives a clear cut green flag to simply proceed into the market with a short position right now let's see what went on guys as you can see as the price action started proceeding to the downside it simply killed a lot of momentum coming from these buy side liquid zones at 11.3 dollar regions as well kind of confirming my bias guys and for this one usually what i do in my trade is that once the trade runs in my own direction i would simply start putting the stop losses into my entry right here guys so this is what i did exactly for this trade as well i simply once it started confirming a bias i simply placed my stop loss at the entry level right here guys so that means that well essentially all of my losses were gone right this entire r and r setup was basically nothing so had i simply gone out of the market and i had i just simply gone uh, had my stop losses gone out of the market it would have not really caused anything to my equity whatsoever i mean minus the funding that i was paying for the short position altogether but essentially guys look this is what fucking happened in the market man oh man guys this one simply ripped to the upside like a fucked out altogether man this was insane right here, guys and with this candle pushing to the upside i was simply thrown out of the market guys now the point of this entire thing is that you might be really really confident in any kind of setup and the market would be confirming your biases every single time as well but if you are too adamant to leave your position and if you are just simply too admin to be fucking right or wrong in the market market will get the best of you like this guys now let me just tell you one thing right here i mean essentially had i been really adamant about the fact that oh my god this is the fucking thing this is the right short position in the market i'm not gonna get stopped out and it will come back down i would have been down like madness guys this one went up by 45 fucking percent in one single day right so this is what this is what can happen guys and essentially i simply got one more point to put forward right here when traders like me get stopped out right here this is what happens guys the market simply squeezes the fuck out because we are here to identify the key areas of interest guys you can fucking see right here 12.15 dollars was a key fucking risk management zone and a key area for short position interest as well in the market guys because the market simply back tests these levels and bam 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 a 45 percent led to the upside without any stop guys now what is happening in the bigger picture now i hope that this story made sense to you i hope that it helps you in some way possible guys the point of this entire thing is that whatever the fuck happens in the market you have to be managing your risk guys you have to follow your system in any freaking trade you should not be really adamant about any fact that my god this is it i'm gonna be winning i'm gonna be making million dollars out of one single short position or long position in the market you should not be admin guys look if you want to be chasing your right and wrong dreams just do it elsewhere guys just do it somewhere outside the market right maybe fight somebody and seek for the righteousness <laughs> with them but don't do that in the market guys essentially what i can tell you right here is that the more let's just say 
the more away you are from your emotions while trading in the market the better it is as simple as that guys as simple as that do not chase the righteousness in the markets just don't do that just simply look at the market with simple objectives altogether with that said guys let's talk about what's happening on the daily time frame right here because the trend is still strong right here i mean this is one <laughs> i mean no fucking shit right here but essentially guys we can see that this is in a trending channel and this is a strong uptrend right here we can simply talk about my goodness hello yep there we go so this is a simple uptrend which is still running to the upside and until we are above the key invalidation zone now this invalidation zone has shifted all the way towards 13.5 dollar regions if you see that 13.5 is being violated to the downside that was simply mean guys look we all know that what happens in the channel maybe this is something which will happen once again right and ape will keep on doing this until you break below this price point right here so if you're long on ape right here, this is not a financial advice anything coming from this channel is not going to be a financial advice whatsoever guys this is not a financial advice i'm just trying to help all of you guys to look at the markets in a clear direction i mean that is the most important thing guys the way you look at the market is the most important thing anyways so once you start invalidating the price action levels below 11.5 regions that is when a new trend to the downside might start emerging on ape altogether guys you can see in the small time frames we did have the retest of 13.5 regions literally today itself right so this level should be holding if we put a pin bar candle right here maybe we can expect a little continuation coming from these levels and that could take the price action all the way towards 19 dollar regions and beyond guys and on my video where i was talking about how board ap art club nft is literally killing in the market altogether i was talking about the fact that how people got trapped at 40 dollar regions trying to buy ape literally at the listing time guys so is it a possibility that ape kind of shifts its its momentum in the small to mid time frames or let's just say in the bigger time frames as well all the way towards 40 regions it could happen guys it could certainly happen the thing is that even the market even if the market is simply going to the downside like Bitcoin, Ethereum, all the fucking altcoins, all the L1s are simply shitting in the market. These NFTs related crypto assets are simply going to the upside, guys. So we can see that the liquidity is trying to flow towards your NFT coins altogether. So Ape is one of them, which is why until this NFT trend is on, we can expect Ape to simply keep on going to the upside with a key risk management and a trend in validation below $11 regions altogether, guys. Once you see that Ape is trending below $11 altogether, just simply get the fuck out of it if you're holding it guys that's all but this is not a financial advice okay with that said let's jump into the kim pin right here the market maker the real market maker right here guys this is our landlord fucking bitcoin for all of you which is literally in the foundation of a bearish cross guys once again should i be repeating myself all right we can do that right here so this is coming from bitstamp and if you want a lot of history on bitcoin you can talk about the blx index as well which will give you literally everything that has ha that has been happening on bitcoin since 2011 and 12 all together right so anyway guys take a look at this one right here this is the bearish cross between literally two voodoo moving averages which is your 144 and 350 simple or, or is it 111 i guess this is 111 moving average guys let me just confirm it for you guys right here 111 and 350 moving average now these both are fibonacci numbers which have been guiding long-term bitcoin trends for a very long time right so we are still within the foundations of a bearish cross between this price point right here and until we have a bullish cross between 111 and 350 the overall the macro landscape for bitcoin is mostly going to be sideways to bearish guys which is why every single move to the upside is going to be a sell-off right and on my previous videos i was <laughs> not that convicted but i was talking about the fact that how this run could simply extend towards 48,000. that's the maximum which i feel and it literally happened guys bitcoin ran towards forty-eight thousand dollars, and had we established a trend above 48 that is when we would have targeted crazy moves to the upside all the way towards 58 but guys we simply got fucked off below from forty-eight thousand dollars regions and now we're at the channel low right here and essentially guys let's talk about this bearish cross this one is happening right now what happened last time was literally at the COVID capitulation and bam i mean this was an exception guys this was a well let's just we can kind of skip that one but essentially right here as well we can see that this bearish cross led to crazy fucking sideways price action frustrating every everybody in the market for literally six months straight up right before we simply went down by 50 percent towards key accumulation ranges and the first echo bull wave happened and the covid capitulation happened and then with guys we never we never looked behind right but essentially 
what i'm trying to say is that every single time you go through these bearish crosses market has been in a steep downtrend guys every single time right here as well i mean most of the times when the 111 is crossed below the 350 simple moving average your overall trend and the bigger landscape is to the downside and you can see guys in the projection moving averages we have started shifting and curling to the downside as well these signatures are resembling to what was happening right before the capitulation on bitcoin as well and a lot of times guys look you can see that the topmost extension has kind of started inclining to the downside which simply means that the bigger picture is bearish right so don't have any fomo in your brains that oh bitcoin will run towards one million dollars and i don't even have 0.0001 bitcoin altogether. <laughs> just don't do that guys if you have accumulation targets for bitcoin just keep buying bitcoin every single day regardless the fucking price action guys this is what i've been doing for more than two years now right my bias was simply fucked off in the market with this echo bull wave guys this is when i started getting really serious about accumulating bitcoin and kind of calculating my net worth on bitcoin as well altogether guys so essentially my point being that if you are looking at bitcoin in the long term just keep stacking it just keep fucking buying it without any without any hindrance in your mind just don't overthink it just don't over complicate that just keep on buying bitcoin every single day with the amount of money that you're comfortable guys and of course this is not a financial advice consult your financial advisors to before you do any wreck behaviors just consult your financial advisor for that matter guys just just do that right if you're new in the market just talk to somebody who's kind of experienced in the markets altogether am i experienced yes i am experienced but am i a licensed financial advisor fuck no guys this is fucking crypto markets this is free world right here <laughs> holy fucking shit anyways guys look the downside target still remains the same and with this price action reverting to the mean right here i mean should we draw a roadmap right here maybe we can do that but guys i think this support is weakening again and again and again and this is a long time coming right this breakdown has been a long time coming i mean we have been grinding against this entire sideways channel for a very long time and this is this is not really a sign of st uh, strength and fitness altogether guys um i mean essentially yes we are going through supply shocks in the market all the mining which is happening in the market every single day fundamentally bitcoin is bullish guys fundamentally the thing is that hash rate keeps on going up bitcoin keeps on getting mined and the supply keeps on getting bought back into the market but guys remember the market makers can simply <laughs> push the price action down to some key levels shake out a lot of people and keep on buying bitcoin for lower prices as we keep on proceeding down in the future which is why guys as an investor as a long term as a as a long term investor right here in the market if you're accumulating bitcoin just do not be lost in translation just don't do that just don't really get yourself into the chop and keep on stacking bitcoin every single day no matter what that is the best thing which you can do for yourself as well and in these landscapes guys look the thing is that if you're trading just reduce the size of your position as well this is fucking sideways guys holy fucking shit this is crappy piece of water bullshit price action and even in all the l ones guys if you talk about avax if you talk about cardano if you talk about luna if you talk about solana as well altogether all those price action are looking absolutely shitty guys in these landscapes just don't get ahead of yourself don't over level yourself look guys we will get rich it will happen slowly and slowly and slowly everybody will get what they want in these markets crypto markets are very giving guys but the thing is that crypto markets markets are giving when the trends are like this right when the trends are simply smoothly rolling to the upside alongside the 350 moving average and 111 being crossed to the upside these are the specific kind of times when you see crazy legs happen to the upside and this these are when markets are giving as well you can simply enter here 2x your money here you can consolidate here you can 2x your money right here <laughs> you can buy back here you can 2x your money right here so these things will come what do you have to do in these landscapes just keep on sharpening your trading skills guys because market can stay irrelevant and it can stay irrational for more than you can expect guys these markets will stay irrational until you simply stay solvent in the market guys that means that until you are simply fighting the market markets will simply go to the sideways or they will just not trend altogether keep on sharpening your skills keep on doing new things in the market keep finding new edges in the market rather than fighting the price action all day all long the thing is that i was doing these kind of things back in 2018 guys holy shit these things are reminding me of what i was doing right here and let me just assure you about one thing right here it was a simple wrecked behavior man holy fucking crap i was i mean over trading leveraging myself out in the market every single time just fighting against the market that hey, this is the fucking trade of my life i'm gonna make money didn't work out that well honestly did not work out that well guys just I'm going to be very very fucking honest right so
stick to real analysis stick to things which will sharpen your trading skills altogether and keep on accumulating bitcoin guys in the long term right so without any further ado last chart for the day before we jump onto ethereum holy fucking shit 15 minutes long if you're still watching the video a like would be really appreciated guys holy fuck i mean <laughs> Honestly, I'm not really doing a nice job in terms of delivering content to all of you guys right here. But essentially, Crypto Decatur is more or less a dear diary to me, guys. All of my experiences, if my experiences are making sense to you and if my experiences are helping you survive in these markets, it's a big thing, guys. Holy fuck. Even if I'm helping any one of you saving a lot of money in the market altogether, this kind of full, this simply fulfills a lot of things that I have on my mind for this channel altogether, guys. Which is why. Oh my goodness. I mean, I do have my internet running right here and I think everything should be working fine. But essentially, guys, look, I will kind of have to cut this video short right here because, well, oh, well, we have we have an electrical fuck up right here. And essentially, I can't really avoid that, guys. But anyways, anyways, guys, we'll talk about moving averages and Ethereum and altcoin in the coming video in the next video pretty soon. Until then, take care. Bye for now, guys.